This is Andy Purewell for Boxing News. I'm going to drop that there. This is Andy Purewell for Boxing News. I'm joined by Joseph Parker in London. Joseph, it's quite warm for the UK. How are you finding it? How are you doing? It's very warm. I, I was told it was going to be very cold, and I'm dressed um, for the cold, <laughs> so I'm sweating. But listen, it's nice to be here. It's uh, fantastic to be a part of this event, and I'm looking forward to seeing the fights tomorrow and seeing how it's all going to unfold, the winners are going to be, and see a great event and great, great fights. Before we come on to yourself, let's start off with that main event. I'm sure you've got one eye on it. Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois. How do you see this one unfolding? Listen, I think Dubois is a man that's been very confident of late. With the two wins that he has under his belt, Big Baby Miller and Hergovic, I feel like he's uh, showing a lot more confidence within himself and what he's saying all week. I think Joshua has been gelling well with Ben Davison and you can see that partnership growing and developing. Um, if I have to call it, I would say I would pick Joshua within six or seven rounds. I was wrong before with Dubois and Hergovic, but I just feel like the Joshua that we've seen lately is uh, looking very dangerous. If you're in Daniel's shoes, um, obviously a very different fighter to yourself, but how do you think Daniel needs to approach his fight? What's the keys for him to try and be successful? Yeah, Daniel, like, when I watched his last few fights, I feel like he's got a very good jab and it sets everything up and I feel like... Um, in the fight with Hergovic, he showed a lot of uh, like grit, like he took a lot of punches, but he showed that he could take a punch to give a punch. Um, he also showed that little dog in him, that like he was able to come back. I think he has to show a bit more head movement, and I think he has to be aggressive from the beginning. You mentioned aggressive from the beginning. A lot of people actually feel like this might be a quick start from both men. Do you expect to see a bit of a firefight early on? I expect with this fight to see fireworks. I mean, both both guys, like for AJ, it's a, it's a it's a it's a must win fight. Like he he wants to be three time world champion for Dubois. He's still young, but I think he wants to prove to the world that he does belong at the top and he is a real world champion. From the version of Anthony Joshua that you fought and the most recent one we've seen since he's teamed up with Ben Davison, would you say it's an old version or a new version of Anthony Joshua? I would say it's a bit of both, old and new. But you can see that he's coming out with um, like he wants to knock people out and he wants to land the big shots, and he wants to get them out of there. Whereas, uh, like, before, he was trying to box and trying to, I don't know, just trying to learn the art of boxing, if you know what I mean. So, listen, hopefully, you know, who, whoever does the job, I'll be awesome if I can fight the winner. That was going to be my next question. Is that, is that the plan? Is that the, the conversations you're having with Turkey? I don't know what the plans are. I don't know what they have planned for me. I don't know what they have planned for the winner of Anthony Josh or Dubois. I think they might be getting him to fight the winner of Tyson Yusek, but I am keen to fight the top guys in the division. I mean, listen, Joe, obviously in the last year or so, you've been on an unbelievable run of victories. Um, do you feel like your name should be at the forefront of that queue to face the winner of Saturday? You know what? Like, it doesn't really matter what I think. Like, I want to fight all these guys, but it's about what's, what they would like. You know what I mean? People in charge. You know, I'm not signed to any promoter. I got Splinter Brown looking after me, um, Gold Star. I got David Higgins managing me, and we're trying to make these fights happen, the big fights. But we just um, we're not getting it, so just have to be patient and wait for our opportunity. Because when the opportunity comes, I'm going to take over. There was a lot of talk that Zhilai Zhang was going to rematch you um, next, and he was going to invoke his rematch clause. But things seem to have gone quiet on that front now. And there's talk about him fighting Martin Bacoli instead. What can you tell us? Has a Zhang rematch spoken about recently? I wish I could tell you something. I have no idea. I think a fight between Zhang and Martin Bacoli will be an amazing fight. It'll be fireworks from round one to whenever it finishes. And um, you know what a good fight will be? Ajit Carbayel. I feel like he's been looking very great and sensational in his fights and fights that he wasn't meant to win and fights that I wasn't meant to win as well so we've, we've, done, we've both been doing well and I think that'll be a great fight. It's a very interesting name you've mentioned there because not many people are mentioning Ajit Kabayal despite his recent performances. Listen, his recent performances shows that he does belong at the top level. He beat uh, Magmadov, who he was supposed to lose to, then he beat uh, the Cuban Flash and he showed, um, he showed great skills and he showed volume punching and he showed a lot of um, great combinations in the fight and uh, I think there'll be a great fight. I have to ask Joe, obviously we know that there's a show on October 12th, you're not on that one, we know that in terms of Riyadh season there's another one in November for Billum Smith Zerdo, but the one which potentially there might be a slot, I don't know, Usyk Fury too, are you pushing to try and get on the undercard? Is it likely we see you out once more this year? I would like, I would love to get on the undercard. I think Spencer Brown is working on it right now with David Higgins and Turkey Al Sheikh, Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren. I think I, I need another fight before the end of the year. I was hoping for two or three more fights, but 
You know, things do happen in boxing, you just have to be patient and have to wait. Do you think since your most recent performances against Deontay Wilder and Gilles Zhang, you've somewhat, without a title, become that who needs them club member because you've shown how dangerous you are to fighters and you're on a hot streak, as I said earlier. Listen, I'm on good form, you know, I've been doing some great work with George Locker and when we link up with Andy Lee, everything comes together. So I feel like when you're in good form, sometimes they don't want to uh, take the risk to fight you. And um, I feel like that's what's been happening lately. But again, um, I got the WBA mandatory and they can't avoid me forever. So I will get a fight soon and when the fight comes, I'm going to be ready. Just a couple of fights on the horizon I want to get your thoughts on. Firstly, um, Joy Opataya, a man you know very well, versus Jack Massey, another man you know very well. What do you expect to see in that fight? I think Jack Massey has a, you know, he's going to come and, listen, Jack Massey is a, is a good fighter. When I fought him, um, I was still trying to find what works for me, and I found George Locker, Andy Lee, and everything's changed since then. But I feel like Jack Massey is going to be a good test for Joy Opataya. Jack Massey is tough, and he also, like, the last few fights that he's had, he wasn't sort of expected to win. And the Jai Bataya is a beast though. He's my brother and he's going to come out and he's going to show what he does best and that's win. And um, Usyk Fury too as well. How confident are you that Tyson will reverse the result of the first fight? I believe in Tyson and I believe with the, you know, with the fight that he had, the first fight, it's been a few months now, I've been communicating with him and talking to him and he's shown a, a different mindset leading into this fight. I think he's got extra motivation because he wants to get one back on Usyk. And uh, if anyone can do it, Tyson can do it. Do you think we see a more aggressive version of Tyson in the rematch? I feel like, he, if you don't see it, I feel like that's what we need to see. A bit more aggressive Tyson, taking, you know, taking the middle ground and uh, pushing him back. Just one more name I want to throw at you. I know for a while you've said you'd love to run it back with Joe Joyce and obviously correct that um, decision that you, well, the, the knockout defeat that you suffered in your career. But he obviously suffered a, a shock defeat to Derek Chisora. What did you make of Chisora's win against Joyce? And is the Joyce rematch out of a question for you now? At the moment, the Joyce rematch is not really anywhere to be seen. Like, I want to fight AJ. Um, I want to fight Yusuf. You know, I want to fight Carbajal. I want to fight guys that are above me. Um, but that defeat to, to Chisora, Chisora is a beast. War Chisora, he always comes for war. And um, like you never, like boxing is one of them sports where you just never know what to expect. You may think that this guy's going to win, but some, sometimes this guy will just surprise you. And uh, War Chisora has been in the game for a long time, a lot of experience, and it's great to see him do well. Well, Joe, I'll leave you now to enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy tomorrow night. Thank you for speaking to me and hopefully have some news soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.